Hey guys, uh, it's Austin from DNA Productions here, and I am back in the backyard. And today I'm going to be talking about this holster I got yesterday and what you should look for when buying a holster. So, um, it's a very nice holster. I got it yesterday at Big Five, um, 10 bucks. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> um, and I'm going today. I'm going to fit my 1911. Um, and this really cheap UK Arms M555AF with the laser and the flashlight. So, that'll be cool. This thing doesn't even work anymore, but it has a 7 round magazine. The other one has a 14 round magazine. And they both fit in here. I'm not sure about the UK Arms one, but I'll check. And also, saying about, talking about the uh, airsoft gun I should have gotten that I'm going to probably get tomorrow. Um, I didn't order it yet, so it might be another week or so. Um, so, uh, let me just get this onto a lower surface. So basically what you do is you pull up your shirt. You, you don't actually need a belt for this. If you're wearing some good shorts that has like stuff that, like this stuff on it, that's like the sharper and softer side of Velcro, you just need that. Just pull, like pull up in your pants like this. See my shirt is like that. So you just pull up in your pants like this and put that on and just pull it, push it down. And it's very easy. Um, we have one extra mag here. Let's test out the 1911 first. Just push that in. Look how nice that fits. Now about the gun. Let's see. Well. What I like to do is keep it cocked just in case and put the safety on. Push that down and there. It's very nice. Um, I'm not really sure about this back stuff, but it fits great. Um, I love it. Um, okay, now we're back up here on the barbecue. Um, now let's try the UK arms. Okay, so we just take it off. We just like unbuckle it from like back here. Pull the gun out, and it's nice and and it has a mag. Um, okay, next we're going to try this one. See, look, this one doesn't work because of the flimsy trigger and battery's dying. I can't refill the battery on this thing. You can't. So basically, uh, even with the laser, it fits, but you have to. It's tighter, so. Let me put this in from back here. See, you just need to squeeze it in a little bit. And it works. But you have to try. And um, with the mag up here, that just goes in the little compartment right there. So it fits great. It's a great pistol uh, holster. Um, you can just take it out and put it in and Oh my gosh, the mag broke too. And just open fire, blam blam. Um, so I think this is also a concealed carry one, but for the left side. Because if you do this on the left side, you can put it inside and clip it to the outside. And it's really nice on that. And you can just hold that down, but people can see it's all out. It's not cool. So I don't use it as a concealed carry one. Um, it's great. Uh, there's not really much else to say. It's kind of windy out here. Uh, if you can't tell, it's probably affecting the audio a little bit. But um, so far, this is my only gun collection. Later, I'm actually going to see D uh, Danny from DNA Productions, and we will do that. Uh, so I want to talk about a few things. Um, Um, so I think I did really well in the first editing video. Um, in this part, I'm going to show you how it makes it look really cold in an apocalypse and then really hot in like a sci-fi movie. It's really cool. So look. Uh, uh, cut to the clip scene. Why did I come out in shorts today? <laughs> And to the next clip. Ah! Why didn't I wear my underwear today? Ah, it's so hot. It's so hot. It's so So, yeah, I'm learning more video effects. Um, it's pretty cool. 
Um, next gun I'm probably getting, uh, it's going to be from the, I might get the $38 gas CO2 gun. Uh, it's like a little Uzi, uh, with a little handle on the top. It's like a MP5 Uzi look. And it's like up close and it's like blah, 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 And, um, uh, it's a zombie eliminator. This isn't a zombie eliminator, but it's made by Crossman. Just like the other stuff. So, um, yeah, I might get that. Uh, it's kind of hard to find in stores. There are only like three left. Um, so go and get those now. Those are pretty cool. They're made by Crossman and, uh, they're nice. It has like a little tiny Uzi, uh, stock, like that folds out, I think. Has a nice long mag, uh, has like two, it has a handle in the front and the handle on the trigger, and um, it's pretty nice. Um, we'll be using that for a lot of our zombie videos. We're going to be doing some zombie stuff later today, I think, maybe. But it's fun doing this stuff. Um, um, also, I kind of wanted to show you guys my editing space. It's pretty cool. And then we'll start doing product reviews once I get more and more soft guns. So let me just holster this thing back up and we'll be ready to go inside to see my editing place. And plus, I don't use like, um, I don't use any of the really expensive, um, air, like, I don't use any of the really expensive, uh, or editing programs. Um, those are hard to learn sometimes. But I do have Blender, so I'll meet you inside. Okay, guys, I'm up here in my editing room. Uh, it's on the second floor of my house, apartment. So, um, I use this Mac for, uh, I do a bunch of stuff on it. Um, it's pretty cool. I use iMovie HD only on this, even though you can see that little iMovie right there. You can see that. That I don't really use that much. It's five bucks to get it on this old one. So that's me uh, trying to edit a video. Well, that's me trying to do this. Uh, I don't even know where that. Um, I don't even know where that gun went. It's somewhere around here. Um, so um, I'm going to show you uh, what I do here. Um, this is the monitor I use. I have um, a bunch up here. Is my cute guinea pig. I was like, because this was a new computer, I was just wanting to do a project on iMovie. So I did something about cute guinea pigs. So, um, I have a bunch of computers in here. Came with that monitor over there. Um, this one is the ThinkPad. I don't really use this that much, uh, just for Blender and stuff. Uh, here's the Mac Mini that, uh, didn't come with a monitor. We had to buy a separate one, which is that 22 inch monitor right here. Uh, but there's the Mac Mini, there's a flash drive back there, and I made this for my brother out of rubber bands. It's a sonic screwdriver. Uh, actually, this is my brother's 3DS. I don't know what's doing in here. Um, I import to this computer. All of my stuff goes here. Uh, this, was, this used to be my editing computer because I don't really use iMovie HD that much, but, uh, the muzzle flashes are puny in this. I want to try to get this on this computer, but I can't. I think it's illegal. But, uh, somewhere, uh, like, yeah, see this right here, so, see, so look, uh, watch this, this is how funny the gunshots are. That's just me. See, look how, look how unrealistic that is. So, um, yeah, and also I have a laptop up here, but... Uh, it's in my bedroom. And then I have another Lenovo, uh, for editing and gaming. So, um, I'm going to actually edit this right now. Um, there's not really much to do. And if I get bored in here, I have a TV up there. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. I love my editing setup. Hopefully I can get more, uh, more, like, editing software. So I'm going to try to get the Final Cut 10, no, Final Cut Pro uh trial for 30 days and we can do some among the dead stuff on that so yeah i'm going to leave you guys with this um so yeah uh, i'll see you guys later goodbye <laughs>